hit play. on the AGR Pro 2.0 version. Uh, we introduced a lot of uh, updates and upgrades to the previous animation system that makes it uh, a lot faster, more performant and more reliable. But also, it, uh, it also added a new system, which is the sound system, which uh, for now controls only footstep sounds, but it will control a lot more stuff in the future. So let's jump in and let's uh, use this new system. I'm going to show you how to set up it really fast and efficient way. So let's go to our mock-up character, the one that we're seeing right here. So uh, here right now, we got this character with a rifle. He can walk around, he can strafe walk, but you can see that he has no footstep sounds and uh, there's no sounds uh, at all in the project. So I've already added Ultimate Sound Effects Bundle, uh, Footstep Sounds Pro and Ultimate Footstep Sounds. So those two packages. And I also added uh, Footstep Sounds, which is, uh, uh, let me find it for you. This is one of the best uh, sound footstep packages that I know in existence. It comes with pre-made uh, setup, which is well not ideal, but we're going to work with it uh, in a bit as well. So this one is the okay footstep sounds uh, with blueprint. This one is only 34 megabytes, which is super light, and it's uh, made by Bartosz uh, Kamal Kaminski. Uh, so I already worked with this pack in advanced blueprint tutorial series, and it's just an amazing pack when it comes down to. Uh, quality of sound library and setup of the Q sounds themselves. So let's, let's jump in here. First of all, we need physical materials and we need material surfaces for those physical materials. So let's go into project settings. And in product settings, we can set, uh, search for surface and we can specify beside default one, we can specify up to 62 uh, custom surfaces in our project. So multiple physical uh, materials can use a single uh, same uh, surface and each material can use only one surface. So I think we got some materials already here. We got some materials and inside those materials we have physics materials. So let's just look at those physics materials and they have just surface types okay uh, so let's go through them zero one is carpet so this one will be carpet uh, zero two is concrete concrete snow water wood okay so we got all those 11 and to just open all of them. Okay, so water, water, snow, we go snow, sand goes with sand, plastic goes with plastic, metal goes with metal, ground, gravel, grass, concrete and a carpet okay and wood is wood okay so we save all we just set up all of our physical materials and assign them to proper uh, surfaces so now that is done we go to our character and what we need is just add a component agr sound master component we got it here Uh, we're not going to rename it, no point of doing that. It's not attached to any uh, socket and we got some uh, variables to define here. Okay, so first of all, I will enable debug uh, just for now to, to see how it works. We are doing traces on complex, on complex channel and trace channel will be visibility. It's obviously ignoring self, so it will ignore our pawn. 
uh, we're not using auto placement for now uh, here we have key to ball name uh, map so we if our character has more than two legs we have to specify each leg here and this is being used uh, by multiple things and those are just shortcuts that you will use later on uh, this is a global volume multiplier so you can adjust this one based on your global settings and surface trace length it's being used not only for the uh, auto footstep but it's used for all footstep traces and default 5 is set for mannequin character it might not work uh, best for other characters so you might have to adjust this value as well but this controls all the setup when it comes down to uh, sound surface reactions so let's make a new one uh, for this footstep setup we go here let's go to agr blueprints yeah it will be a blueprint that so can stay here and we have to make a new one. Oh, you know what it will be easier if we go here we go into data or hmm, where is it um, yeah data asset so we're making a data asset which is of class uh, data asset underscore footstep config so this is the one that we need let's select this one so we created a new data asset we will name it da underscore basic footstep and just open this new data asset and data asset just stores some hidden functions that are being used and some variables that we have to set up right now so the uh, minimum velocity and maximum velocity are uh, the values of movement speed where you where your sound uh, gets loudest and uh, most silent so let's say that minimum where you hear uh, everything the least is 120 max is let's say 360 i think this is our movement speed yeah 360 so this will be our maximum uh, speed we can make it actually higher than our maximum speed if we want sprinting or something like that and now we have sounds and particles and we're going to set up actually both because why not we can go here go back to our library and we have this free asset that it's free forever and everyone has it which is called niagara footstep vfx and we'll add it to the project as well I have it pre catched so it should be very fast okay it's already attached so now we can specify different sound cues for and different particles for each uh, surface type so let's test it with just um, maybe two surface types uh, or even with just default one so let's go back here uh no don't it's fine mm, okay whatever we need is in okay we just can just specify it here so we'll just specify for default we'll make particle and this particle will be uh, psn oh generic surface for example general surface okay it's set uh, for sound we want to say default is and we have to make a new queue let's make audio and let's make a new uh, sound sound queue and we'll call it uh, default and for the default, we'll go into ultimate sound effects um, waves and let's go into, for example, concrete. We got those 10. We'll open this one. We'll go here, get, grab all of those, go here, drop them here. Just make random, connect all of them, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 okay if we play it now it will pick 
one random sound, but we will also add a modulator and this modulator will be randomizing 5% volume and pitch difference based on just some randomness. And now it sounds like this, works perfectly for us. So we'll specify this queue as our queue, default sound queue, and this uh, PNN generic one surface Niagara, and this is the default. For attenuation, we can leave it as none. It will not set any attenuation or take attenuation settings that are directly from the queue, but we have one which is called footstep sound attenuation. It's part of the uh, footstep pack and we'll just specify this one, but this is not a must. Same goes for concurrency settings. We don't have any concurrency settings and we're not setting them uh, at all here. So if I go now and I hit play, nothing will happen. I still don't have my footstep sounds. Oh, yes, of course I don't, because now I have to go here and I have to specify our footstep setup um, data asset. So now I will specify this and still nothing will happen. I know that nothing will happen because we're not doing any foot traces and we're not checking for surfaces. To do that, we need to actually uh, open up some animations that we have uh, currently running, or we can use uh, the uh, auto setup that we have in here. So let's use the auto setup just to show you how it works automatically. So this is using um, a lot of math and calculations to automatically calculate when the foot is being placed on the ground. So let's hit play. Oh, okay. And let's go back here. Let's go into details. And for our floor, we need to specify physics material, which will be concrete physics material. This should help. Mm, no, okay. Mm, let's make it bigger and let's hit play again okay now we have automatic sound placement i don't know why five was not enough i think that our character is oh yeah he's barely touching the surface so let's make it something like eight Maybe that will be enough. No, it has to be bigger. Let's say 12. You need to find a value that works the best for your character and your animation style. So 15 it is, why not? Let's hit play. Okay, so uh, it already works, but we want to check if we are actually checking different surfaces and specify them here in our config, which we'll do in a second. So this is a basic config, uh, basic steps you need to go through to just make uh, footstep sounds work. And from this point, we can uh, yeah, improve on it. So thanks for listening and see you in the next episode.